Welcome to Dead Air Live. I'm Jojo Lariccia, and tonight we have a special treat. We're going to be talking about Tong Ren Therapy. You might be asking, what is that? And that's why we're here to introduce you to Ken Allen Haddon. Ken, how are you doing this evening? I'm very well, thank you. Ken, we want to know all about your story, why you're here, Tong Ren Therapy. You have an amazing journey that you've been on, so take it away. All right. Um, first, let's uh, explain what Tong Ren, in my perspective and my point of view, Tong Ren energy healing is um, energy medicine. It, uh, it feels uh, like to me that it's um, uh, a type of uh, medicine that will open up energy blockages that are in the energy body, which is going to create the physical, emotional, and mental bodies. Uh, I'm a yoga instructor. That's right. You do yoga for, for elderly people. I work in nursing homes, uh, rehab. Right. I teach at the YMCA in the North Shore. Um, I teach in a few private studios also. But um, I just wanted to relate. In the Hindi tradition, uh, energy blockages are called samskaras. Samskaras? Samskaras. Samskaras. It's okay. called like energy knots okay. that, right. are, that are in the energy body. And so I've been uh, into this kind of... Uh, philosophy for quite a while. I've been practicing yoga for about 20 years. So we always talk about the samskaras, the samskaras, that when you do yoga and pranayama and uh, breathing exercises that, um, you know, the samskaras gradually start unwinding. However, the Tong Ren accelerates that process, I don't know how many thousands of times. Okay, I went to a <coughs> Tong Ren session, and I have to tell you that I've never seen anything quite like it. Or felt it, I bet. Felt it, yes. <laughs> and what it is, it's a bunch of people banging. Tapping. On, tapping, 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 banging. What I thought was a voodoo doll. All right. But it's not a voodoo doll, clearly, no. no. Not at all. No, no, not at all. But what you're doing is you're tapping on the certain points, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like acu not acupuncture points, but Certain. They are acupuncture points. In traditional uh, Chinese medicine, the points that are on the doll are, uh, uh, signify and correlate to the traditional Chinese medicine points. However, the approach is a little different. Do you want me to explain it to yes, you? Yes, please, right. please. That's why All we're right. here. In my point of view, okay, this is uh, from experience, mm -hmm. from, on the healing end, and also I'm a practitioner in, 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 in helping uh, facilitate and channel this energy to people. Mm -hmm. How I have um, found it to be is uh, that the energy, the, it's like, like an, almost an intention. It's bringing both uh, the mind together, all parts of the mind, the, the, the conscious mind, the unconscious mind, and uh, tapping into the greater consciousness, the collective unconscious, which is belief systems of groups of people. Mm -hmm. I like this uh, correlation. How many people know the Our Father who art in heaven? Everybody knows that, well, I think. That's an, established, that? yeah. that's an established prayer that's been around for a long time sure. and understood by millions of people. Mm -hmm. So when you call on that prayer, it brings instant relief to a lot of people. Yeah, people feel it. Uh, right. Absolutely. So they're kind of channeling that pool of energy that's around us. Sure. You know, um, some people say, well, where is it? I, well, I really don't know, but <laughs> it's, it's multidimensional, that's mm -hmm. for sure. So anyways, getting back, um, when we tap, on the points, because this is my belief and my interpretation that the energy points uh, are an established concept that's been around for a long time, I don't mm -hmm. know, like 3,000 years or more. So that belief system we're tapping into, right? Okay. And then the, the belief systems of people who have been healed and are healing in this method, we tap into that. So energy is literally transmitted from the uh, collective consciousness, right. which is connected to, guess what? Super consciousness. I don't want to get too heady now. now. Okay, but this was, I, <coughs> I wanted to lose some weight. So right. I <laughs> called you up on the phone and you said, I can do a healing. I can do, do a something. Session. Well, with, yeah, you could do a session with you over the phone. And I said to myself, right. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. What, what do I have to lose? Oh, well, hopefully wait. Right. But anyway, uh, we did this over the phone and I took my measurements. And after we did this. The next day. No, right afterwards. Really? Yes. Oh, I, oh, I, didn't I didn't know I didn't that. Oh, I oh, didn't tell good. you that. And Unless once in 80. <laughs> yeah, and I just went, this can't be. Maybe I measured myself wrong. Maybe this is wrong. But I lost two inches. 
in places where I wanted to. I'm not going to say where. Right. But anyway, <laughs> I just said, this can't, this can't be happening. But you said it can happen. But I wanted to, I really wanted it to happen. Well, that so helps. It helps. It helps. It helps. If somebody said, oh, I don't believe this is baloney, blah, 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 you know, and they can't block it with their conscious mind. The, right. the, the mind can have blocks too, obviously. So the fact that you're very open does definitely help facilitate the, the energy flowing unimpeded. Right. For and, sure. And then I've been to a few of the The guinea pig classes. The, yeah. the, they call them the guinea pig classes. And of course, Tom Tam came here from China quite a few years ago, and he happened to come right here to Quincy, Massachusetts. And he brought this teaching that is an ancient teaching from China that kind of like just fell by the wayside for whatever reason. He rediscovered it here in America, and now it's kind of it's like taking, it's growing all around the world. And when I first met you a couple of months ago, you came to another class that I was attending and you told us a very interesting story about yourself. And that's what I want you to tell our audience. Okay. We, I want you to tell our audience about you because you have a great story. No. Who was Ken Allen Haddon? Start oh. from the beginning. You sure now? I want you to be right. yeah, up front. <laughs> short version. Close, yeah, and okay. personal. No, I don't want the short version. Bare bone facts, as my therapist would say. Okay, fine. All right, we don't have all day. So, okay, uh, briefly, um, I've always been a person who questions authority, oh, yes. questions the status quo. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, just born with that. Uh, I've been I've been uh, parentless since I was seven years old. Lived oh. in foster homes um, until I was 16, and went uh, on to my what's the word my journey. I was 20 years old and I had a lot of health problems. I had acne, I had um, diarrhea, and just didn't feel well. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to meet a person, a man who I fell in love with, who was uh, the captain of the Harvard wrestling team. I have to say that. Wow. Yeah. And he was into uh, Buddhism. Mm -hmm. He wrote his thesis on uh, Buddhism as it went into China and mm -hmm. whatever century. Anyways, he fed me these strange foods because I, I got hepatitis. I moved to New York City uh, to be a disc jockey. Mm -hmm. um, a disc jockey also. I forgot about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, so I was in New York City. Um, trying to become successful, it didn't happen. And I came back to Boston, and I came down with hepatitis B. Mm. And I was pretty uh, incapacitated. So he's feeding me all this weird food. Anyways, I recovered very quickly. I said, ha ha, there's something to food. Raw foods, maybe? No, this is macro more macrobiotic, macrobiotic food. Yeah. He was feeding me tofu and brown rice and quail eggs and seaweed, stuff that I didn't, never heard of. Sure. You know, I'm used to Big Macs and French fries up until that point. Right. And milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Well, I stopped all that kind of junk food, and the acne went away, and the intestinal stuff went away. So I said, hmm. So I started studying macrobiotics. And I, I, I graduated from the International Macrobi Macrobiotic Institute in Switzerland in 89. And prior to that, I studied in Brookline in uh, the Berkshires. And at, at one point, I was the AIDS liaison, liaison to the world for macrobiotics as a way of healing from AIDS. Really? Wow. Yeah. Back in the middle 80s, there was m not much that people could do with the illness. And macrobiotics, acupuncture, the holistic therapies really helped a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It lengthened their lives. It didn't save their lives, but it definitely improved the quality mm -hmm. of their lives. And I was a chair of the holistic therapy scenes at uh, AIDS Action Committee for several years. And I was the macro guy. <clears throat> and we had acupuncturists, massage therapists, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You ever hear Louise Hay? I have. Yeah, she, uh, we, we got her to come in for a conference. We used to put a conference on. Bernie Siegel came, Louise wow. Hay, and people in the field at the time who were very popular. Because right. uh, it, uh, it was a really interesting time. So anyways, let's go forward. Um, I was um, very healthy for many years. I got into yoga in the late 80s and became a, a yoga instructor from the Kripala Center for Yoga and Health in 94. I um, realized that, um, you know, in 98, 99, I had this terrible flu. And I'm like, not oh, feeling well. How long did the flu last? It lasted a couple of weeks. And then one day I opened my mouth and it was dripping with yeast. It was oh. a thrush infection. It's like, I know what that is. Because uh, I, I was in a study at the Fenway Community Health Center for, for several years. Uh, seeing if I would convert to being positive because I had sex mm -hmm. with somebody who was positive. But I stayed negative 
Did you for know? years and years and years. And I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to be healthy the rest of my life. So I stopped getting tested. Did you know that this person was positive? Yeah, that's why I was being studied. Yeah. To see if I would convert to being positive, which I never did. So uh, I, I was healthy for so, so many years. And I just went into the, well, that's the way it's going to be, you know, routine. And Well, anyways, I got very sick. And... Um, I, uh, being a holistically oriented person and kind of anti-pill oriented, I uh, did a lot of uh, holistic therapies. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, back then I had a lot of money because I was a very successful disc jockey. I was, went to the Tibetan medicine, naturopathic medicine, acupuncture, Reiki, raw foods. I did my macrobiotics. Mm -hmm. I fasted. I had colonic irrigation. I mean... I did everything. Guess what happened? I got sicker and sicker. Did you get AIDS? Yeah, I almost died. I had uh, pneumonia and two opportunistic infections, lost 30 pounds. And a friend of mine said, damn it, can't take the pills. You got, you're dying. I said, oh, that's right. So I, I did the pills as a last resort. And lo and behold, two weeks after taking the pills, I returned to normal health. So I was grateful for Western medicine. Did, you didn't know this, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Western medicine did save my life. Um, the pills had terrible side effects. Because of the toxicity? The toxicity, I mean. I was self-employed, so I was a, one of the fortunate ones. I never uh, got a disability check, and I still don't get a disability check, mm -hmm. because I was self-employed. So I, if I was sick in the morning, I could work in the afternoon. I was very fortunate. You know, I used to sell music to fitness, fitness instructors across the country in uh, Europe. So I worked out of home. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you had to be near a bathroom, basically. And uh, the fatigue, and uh, later on, I don't know what year, the third or fourth year into the pill of drug therapy, um, my face started uh, shifting and changing. It's called uh, lipoatrophy, facial wasting. So I lost a lot of my facial muscles. And you talked about something about <clears throat> the humps in the back. Yeah, th thank goodness that's not really a big problem nowadays. I've figured out what caused these problems. They call them buffalo humps. People would have these big humps on their it's, back. What's that from? It's a fat redistribution. The pills would just screw around with the DNA and the mitochondria in the cells and things would just get a little screwy. So it sounds like if you take a lot of pills, it's not a good thing. Well, I mean, it's good for a while. Um, it certainly saved my life, you know, but... Uh, I, uh, I was always one of these stubborn patients. <laughs> so where does Tong Ren come Tong in? Ren came in. Well, Tong Ren came in back in uh, April of 07, a year ago. I was hospitalized for gallstones. I had this terrible stomach. I go, oh, what's going on? And the year before, uh, in 06, I had some, I was in the hospital for like a couple of hours. The first mm -hmm. time in like, tw like t 20 years. Mm -hmm. and I don't go to hospital unless I have to. <laughs> anyway, so the, in 06, I had some, a swollen liver. Which is, which is a common side effect for mm -hmm. HIV pills. So the, the, the year later, 07, my gallbladder backed up and they said they wanted to you know, do surgery. And I said, no, let me go home. They wanted to you know, do surgery immediately. I said, no, let me go home and Google gallstones. And I uh, started eating really simply. And three days later, one of the tappers who's here, uh, I teach yoga at a wellness center in Lynn, and he was doing Tong Ren therapy. He said, would you like some Tong Ren? I said, Tong who? And I'm like, I'm gonna tap on a doll for you. I was like, this is a little strange, but uh, yeah, I'm open. What happened with the AIDS? You were taking conventional medicine. Right. You got rid of the AIDS. No, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not gone. It's still, the virus is still in my system. Right. I'm being monitored, my blood is being monitored. Okay. But what I, what I can say is that um, uh, through the Tong Ren therapy, through the energy healing, I do not have to take pills anymore. So you don't take any pills? No. And that's the amazing thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that, 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 that was been my goal all along for eight years. Because I would stop the pills every spring to do a detox. Okay. And, you know, hope and praying that the virus wouldn't return, but it always did. So I always resumed the therapy after a month or two of being off the pills for a holiday. Before I leave, I just want to ask you, what are some of the things that Tong Ren, T-O-N-G-R-E-N, what does it help with the healing energies? I wow. know we talked about weight loss, growing back hair, addictions, blockages. Well, to be honest with you, I, I haven't heard it. 
It's like yoga. Being a yoga instructor for years, it's like people say, well, what does yoga do? I was like, well, what doesn't it do, basically? I have not heard of anything that it hasn't helped. I've worked with, I don't know how many people, maybe 100 people as a practitioner, and there have only been two people that haven't received healing. And the reason they didn't receive it, in my opinion, uh, was they had a conscious block in their, in their head. Okay. They blocked it. Tell us the story about the 96-year-old woman. Oh, yeah, this is, this is really interesting. I teach yoga in uh, nursing homes and the rehab. And uh, I um, was very excited. I'm still excited. It's, I've been excited for a year. <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of contagious. Anyways, I said, I want to I, I experiment with this. Right. I said, I'm going to bring the doll and the hammer and bring it to some of my classes and work uh, uh, with some of the old people. I, most of my students in the nursing home are in the 80s and 90s. Some of them are maybe in their late 70s, but these are really cool ladies who still have their faculties, most of them. They're little cripples and, you know, can't move very well. But yoga is more than physical activity. It's breathing, it's meditation, it's, it's, it's bringing the body and the mind together. So I asked the activities director in this one place. I'm not going to mention names just in case, okay? <laughs> or places. Anyways, it's in Beverly. Um, <laughs> Massachusetts, not Beverly Hills. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, this place, I asked the activities director, who's very holistically open, and she's, I said, I'd like to work on somebody because I really like her. I'll just close the door and, you know, I'll do my thing. She said, no problem. Well, listen to this. I only t worked on her twice. And I'm like, do you feel anything? You're feeling, no, not really. I feel relaxed. Oh, that's a feeling. That's great. <laughs> so I didn't see her for about two more weeks because she, she had a problem. She was in the hospital for pneumonia. And then, um... Uh, when I f saw her for the first time in a few weeks, uh, she had claw hands. You know what claw hands are? She had terrible arthritis like this. Like something like, like this. this. Yeah. So um, this is no exaggeration. And she couldn't move her legs very much either. And um, so after not seeing her for two weeks, she said, Ken, look, look, look. Her claw hands were completely gone. That's, she could move that's, her fingers. That's amazing. And she could do, I have this exercise where we do this, and she was always wanting to do it and wanting to do it. See, she wanted healing. That's part of it. How long did she have claw hands? Oh, a good 15, 20 years. In, in, does she in two have... sessions, she was oh. able to, to have her fingers straight. And she's able to lift her legs up in the air dramatically differently than before. Does she have to go, to the, go for these treatments all the time to stay that way? Well, see, that's the thing. I haven't, um, she's, her hands are still fine. Mm -hmm. But her legs don't rise as much because I have not worked with her. This is just, you know, out of my spare time mm -hmm. or whatever. But uh, she was so excited. She was like, Ken, what's happening? What's going on? And I tried to downplay it. I'm like, well, you're just you're doing really well. You're doing that yoga. You're breathing. And, yeah, maybe that energy healing, too. But it was that. <laughs> yeah. So people do have to go to these sessions periodically yeah. to keep it going. And can they heal themselves? Yes. They can yes. heal themselves. Okay, right now we have a, <clears throat> we have a tape roll in that we'd like to show, and uh, this is when I first met you, right. and you had a really compelling story, so um, if we can do that, that would be great. I've been praying for a, um, a way out of the pill syndrome, out of the Western modality, because the pills, there's a, there's a term in the, in the HIV community, if the virus doesn't kill me, the pills will. Well, the pills were starting to kill me. My gallbladder backed up. I was in Beverly Hospital. They wanted to cut me up. I said, no, let me go home and figure this out. Well, I teach yoga at a wellness center. I'm a yoga instructor, um, besides an office manager, an acupuncture office. So I was teaching yoga at a wellness center for people with HIV. And there's this man doing Tong Ren therapy. And he said to me, would you like me to bang on the doll for you? I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Bang on who? What? So anyways, he starts tapping on this acupuncture model doll. Ooh. Yeah, basically, I mean, but I'm, I'm open to anything. I'm, 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 I'm open. This therapy, you don't have to believe it, just have to be open to it. Yeah, so anyway, he starts tapping on this doll with this magnetic hammer. Literally 10 seconds, starts working on the cervical area on the doll. He's not touching me. My whole neck goes, Ooh, wow, okay. So he starts having gallbladder points. 10 minutes, I'm passing gallstones in the bathroom. Continue for a week. And it was gall sand, which is basically 20, eight years taking 20 pills a day. Something's gotta give, right? And it's the latest side effect of HIV pills is gallbladder surgery removal. It's, you know, of course the doctors don't tell you about that. They're not gonna, you know, explain it that, well, after seven years, maybe your liver's, the gallbladder's gonna back up unless you detox constantly. So, 
Anyway, I said, wow, this is amazing. Anyways, the pills at this time would stop working. They tend to stop working after a while. I built resistance to the pills. So I said, let me, I'm going cold turkey, let me try this. Well, I've been off the pills about 10 months now. The virus is under control, the T cells are the same. Everything is basically better than being on the pills. Whereas before, it's definitely the Tong Ren, the energy healing, because every time I've gone up before, things would go wacko. So I, um, I'm very uh, grateful to be off the pills. And my blood work is slowly getting better and better and better without you know, the medication. And some people say it's a miracle and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I, 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 I've seen a lot of amazing cures or, or amazing healings in the Tong Ren circles. I mean, people who have Parkinson's, you know, after the being tapped for three minutes, they stop, they stop moving. You know, it may come back, but with consist consistent energy healing, it's amazing. My cat uh, was hit by a truck and had a terrible, it works with animals, had a terrible tumor. I mean, it was like, like a, literally like, a, like this big, swollen muscles all, whatever. So the cat doesn't, you know, no, it was just a kind of injury, you know, a muscular injury. It was really quite noticeable and the cat was in pain. So my friend, a friend of mine was calming the cat down and I did the tongue run therapy, banged on the doll. I swear, the next morning the, the bump was completely gone. The cat was just completely back to normal in just one night. Wow. Completely broke up the blockage. The idea of this is that um, we are tapping into universal energy via the collective unconscious, which is the belief system of a group of people. Well, there have been a lot of amazing cures. Uh, Craig Benson, the ex-governor of New Hampshire, who's on this DVD, um, was healed of a fatal heart condition, only doing tongue run therapy. So um, it's, it's going to shake up the world uh, big time because it works and it's free. <laughs> yeah. And you can, you can go to these groups which are popping up like crazy. I mean, I, I'm a practitioner of this therapy now. I, my biggest thing, I'm working at home doing long distance healing. It works better when you're far away. Don't ask me how. I don't know where the collective unconscious is stored. It's probably in the fourth dimension somewhere, maybe the fifth dimension, wherever. It's, it's there because I'm working on people in Housatonic Mass, Santa Fe, New Mexico. I use laser, the, the therapy is magnetic hammer and laser. And there's even more things coming up, which I, I won't go into now. And um, having amazing healings by sitting in my house, talking on the phone. Because en energy goes everywhere, okay? It's a little bit of a stretch for the mind to comprehend it, like it was for me, because I was having the physical healings, and my mind was like, what? Banging on a doll? I, I didn't get it. I get it now. In, in terms of saving time, I don't need to go any further with it. Just, uh, be just telling you that it, um, it works. The first couple of groups I went to, my jaw kept dropping. <laughs> what? Brain tumor gone in a month? I mean, leukemia gone in three weeks? I mean, this is not makes sense to the paradigm that, you know, I was forced to believe in. So, um, so when, I, when it came to HIV, the incurable, you know, stigma disease, I'm like, well, why shouldn't that one heal too? And um, so I'm, I'm in the process of healing this, you know, dis-ease and I'm very grateful to be able to, to talk about it. Well, it's the intention, and you know, Tom, Tom Tam has told me that you don't even really need a doll. He doesn't even use the doll in his long distance healing. It's his intention. But um, we, the belief system believes that when you tap on this particular point, it goes right into that point. Right. So it does. Right. Okay. The Tong Ren helps with addictive processes. It's like, I mean, I have, I've had addiction issues through my life, mm -hmm. you know, some more than others, mainly sex addiction. And, it's like effortless, completely effortless effort to do everything that I need to do to keep me healthy. I don't know how to describe it. It helps with depression, dementia. I've seen people who were losing their memory who are getting their memory back. But I'm not saying you just bang on the doll for three weeks and everything's going to be extremely fabulous. Things will start getting, you know, changing. Energy will be moving. The blockages in the energy body will break up. And if you have any mental health issues, they tend to, uh, to get uh, much better very quickly. We don't have time to fool around people, you know what I mean? So anyways, this is very exciting because I, I just realized this is probably the first time that um, 
we're going to, um, oh, we're going to do a live guinea pig class. So is this being taped? Okay. All righty. So, Tom, we're going um, to start. It's a live guinea pig class with the camera. Yes. This, every day we do the live, right? Exactly. All right. So the guinea pig number one, I never know who you are. You are new here. Can you tell the people what you have? Um, I'm extremely healthy. I'm actually a fitness expert. I teach about 10 to 20 aerobic classes a week, and I'm a personal trainer. And um, this morning and yesterday, I actually have a lot of stomach issues. I'm not really sure if I'm having emotional issues over things. I don't know, but my stomach is just... I actually, walking in here tonight, I almost doubled over. I feel oh. dizzy and just kind of not quite right. So, And I'm usually very healthy, so I would say that that's... Definitely something I'm, that's bothering me right now. All right, sometimes you can have a big hamburger, sometimes it's dangerous. So we go to open the, the vagus nerve. That's the nerve go to the stomach area. So open the vagus nerve, everything coming down. Are you Every ready? hands up. Yep. So vagus going down. Okay. So I have the emotion problem also. So yes. we open the vagus, then collect the emotion. So your first time in our class? Yes. All right, welcome to the class. Thank you. Then going down, stomach 21, stomach 25. What do you feel now? Well, I felt a little better the minute I walked in here, so I guess there's some energy around the, uh, the class. Your um, face is getting red. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> now you feel warm, heat, tingling, yeah. something. So see two front loop for the emotion, calm it down. GB13. How you feel? I feel fine, thank you. Now in Massachusetts, so many people join our class already. We have, but uh, I think more than 25 locations. All different areas have the different classes. So our headquarters is in the Quincy area. In Quincy now we have uh, eight classes a week because the people keep coming, coming. So we must keep spread out it. How you feel? I feel good. Thank so you. hot? Uh, I feel warm, yeah. Warm? So <laughs> yeah. we send the chi to the legs, stomach 36. How you feel the stomach? I feel good, thank you. Yeah. So, I, it's gone, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so next time be careful, not too much. Hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Are you are new here? Uh, well, since I'm here, yes. I've been very thankful. I've been really healthy the bulk of my life. And it's only lately that I have a little something with my right knee, especially. Going, and I feel going up and down the stairs a bit. All right. But I still do my work, but there's something that wasn't there. And this is only lately, say, the past couple of weeks, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, you make us a little swollen. Also. Swollen. The other foot is a swollen. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, yes. yes. A, a fluid. Yes. I'm on a, a fluid pill also. All right. So you have arthritis, or you have an injury, or a cartilage problem, or ligament problem. What your doctor say? That's a good question. And the arthritis because... Yeah, it's going to be a little arthritis. So if the arthritis, we are not treated as the knee problem. We are not treated <laughs> as a leg problem. Because the arthritis is... Uh, Autoimmune. Autoimmune problem. So the people have the arthritis and the allergy and the lupus. They call the autoimmune problem. So we need to collect it. Is the 
autoimmune system. It's not the leg problem. It's not the foot, not the knee. So then we can read the root first. So we open the T1, 2, 3, 4, 7. You ready? Have your hands up. Yeah, just relax your hands Put down. Put it on the left. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So the people have a hard time to treat the arthritis because they treat the joint. Then they not collect the T cell or the autoimmune system. So for example, you go to do the surgery. Surgery is good, but they not collect the autoimmune system. So later, they kind of problem come again. So we go to collect the autoimmune system, then the T cell not attack the joint anymore, then they heal. How you feel now? What you feel? I feel relaxed. Relaxed. Mm. Relaxation is a healing. Your brain waves are slowing down. Brain waves are quite It's, it's, oh, Going I'm sorry. down. Make you more relaxed. Your mind is calming down. Yes. How you feel the knee now? Tingling. Now you can have more movement. So, ouch point going down to the knee, right side of the knee. What do you feel right now? Something. Yeah. Tingling, heat. Warm. No, I just feel relaxed. So relaxed. <laughs> so what you? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, not easy to be relaxed in America, no. right? <laughs> but you can see how many people do the meditation, hypnosis, psychiatrist, psychologist, pill. How many fans for relax? So a lot of the people coming to our class is for the relax, for all different kinds of psychological, emotion, relaxation, whatever. So when we make the circulation come, then the brain wave is dropping down. Basically, we have four different kinds of brain wave. So that is the relaxation is on the theater. Of course, we cannot put the people on the delta, but we slowing down the brain wave, then you feel relaxed. How you feel the knee now? Try to move. Oh no, I can, I can move it. So move easier? Yeah, I, I, I was able to move it. It's yes. more like going down, going down the stairs. All right, because we cannot tap on the stair now. Because <laughs> a lot of time, the people in the wheelchair, then we can make them no wheelchair. A lot of people right away no more wheelchair. Last Thursday we have one news in the Western News. In the Walpole, Walpole. Time, Walpole Times. Yeah, Walpole. That is the girl ten years on the wheelchair. Wow. Then have a Lyme disease. Now she running the class. So yesterday, she brought six people coming back to our class, including one is the MS. So she's healed, 10 years. 12 years, she have the Lyme disease, 10 years with the wheelchair. Wow. Now, completely back to normal. That is on the news, newspaper on the front page. So you can go into the internet and check it. Walpole News. Thursday, uh, February 14. How you feel right now? The same. But more and more relaxed yeah. or warm? Yeah, I'm enjoying this. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you get a door at the hammer, beat it by yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 pay him $8 an hour, you know, he can pay it for you. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You're doing good? Yeah. 
All right. All right, sir. How are you doing today? Uh -huh. So you is in my oh. DVD. I'm doing very good. I yeah, so you can tell the deal cancer that metastasized in my lungs. And uh, I've had cat scans and pet scans and the last ones I've had have been good. So uh, I think that it's, it's helping me. So that is the, the suffocate area on the chest. Yeah. So they already <coughs> surgery. Yeah, so five inches of my esophagus out. Yes. And so right and now still no chemo now? No, nothing at all. No now. chemo, yeah. no radiation, no. no acupuncture either. No acupuncture either. Yes. <laughs> all right, only the dough, so we can beat the dough more harder for you. Okay. All right. So we open the vagus. T six no T five six seven left side ready. So what your doctor say now? My doctor says I am her miracle patient. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you tell them what you do it. <laughs> yeah, we tell her we bang the doll. <laughs> we bang the doll. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. She's happy with my progress. Yeah. A lot of people doubt you bend the door so simple, so easy. How can they heal? So why we think it is so difficult? Everything is easy. But we on our mind made it difficult. So we kidney meridian open the chest. CV 17. What you feel now? So now you begin again the way also. Yes, the appetite is good now. Yeah. Yes. And you do it at home also. Yeah. yeah, every day or once a week, once a day. Well, I do a few of the call-ins at noon, and my wife also bangs on the door. Oh, okay. Laser, yes, that's good. Because we have so many people who have the cancer, high percentage of them have a good benefit. And we have one class in Quincy for cancer patient only every Saturday, 11 to 12 o'clock. The people from that whole country, from another state, they fly here for the treatment. And the class is free, no benefit. We are no benefit. So that means you lost nothing. Only the air, air ticket or the hotel if they're from somewhere. But if you're from Quincy, you're from Massachusetts, only gasoline or subway. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> right near the train station. Not only from the state, uh, <coughs> also from overseas. Overseas, overseas yes. Before. Then also we have the conference call on the phone to healing the people. Now we have the conference phone call for healing the cancer and other things else. And now we have the computer healing also. How you feel now? Feel good. All right, not too bad. All right, then go home, tell your wife, did you? Up more harder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're already doing good. That is the miracle. All right. You are new here. I'm here because I'm Joanne's aunt, and my lower back is lumbar one, lumbar two, lumbar four. It's the painful. Terrible. Why you have the pain on the, the lumbar? Pain in my lumbar back. The, in the arthritis, surgery, or no, injury? No, arthritis. Worse than arthritis. So you don't know why you have that? Degenerate? Yeah. Degeneration? Of the yeah, this degenerate. part of that too. Oh, right. yeah. So? And, uh, my arms tingle. Mm -hmm. I had the carpal tunnel syndrome. You have a carpal tunnel syndrome. All right. Yeah, they feel like, even though I had it done, they still feel like Mm -hmm. A little numb. They don't feel normal. You have numbness right now? A little, yeah. All right. So we can read of your carpal tunnel. 
And I'm losing my hearing. I'm All right. Hearing. So get rid of the Capitano syndrome first. All yeah. right. Are you ready? Yes. So Capitano syndrome is the nerve is from the bronchial plaques. Uh -huh. So we go into to the neck. C five six seven. Mm -hmm. Then going down. You ready? All right. Then stomach twelve. Stomach eleven. Down. Then we do it both sides. What you feel? I feel better. Better already? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Better is better. No, no argue. argue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? You like feel it? Feel more flexible. Flexibility. So no exercise and more flexibility. So if you use on your class for exercise, what do you think? That looks great. Why not? <laughs> yeah, right? Absolutely. <laughs> So the two minutes already changed. So we, I have another girl. She is the, the strongest woman in the world. So that is the name Barbara in Boston. She breaking down two leg or three leg in the whole world. Wow. So you, they not allow you take the drug, but they allow you bend the door. Yeah. Then she is in the whole world, the world strong woman on the on the TV also. So you need to pay attention, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think this year in China do the Olympic. You know, we I plan to get to China for the Olympic. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> so you need to figure out how to use it on your class. How you feel now? My hands feel better. If I have to pick up a needle to sew, we have the needle have on the uh, on the door. With my finger and press down and hold it. So we can try. If we have a needle. All right. So now we working on your back lumbar. Oh so lumbar is from T one seven lumbar. You ready? Yes. T one bone marrow. T seven blood circulation. Lumbar. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yes. How you feel the back now? Usually we can come here on the better. is better. So you can train she do the yoga now. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. your job. Get her in the aerobic class. <laughs> Then tomorrow, repeat the same thing, see what happens. So we send it down. <laughs> what do you feel? That feels better. Feel warm, hot. Warm. Warm. So that's easy than exercise, right? <laughs> easy than buy a machine. It's not as painful. What else you have? No, Carpet tunnel. Warm. What yes. else do I have for ailments? Here you name it. We, My arm. Your arm, okay. Put your arm up. No, no, up in the front. Up, higher, painful. No. Up. 
obtain on the side up up okay then we go put it down how about this side <coughs> this side okay so we go to fix your okay we go to fix on the right left side block your plex so the out pawn Usually in our class in Kunxi, <coughs> we have from um, 60 to 100 people. 60 to 100 people in the guinea pig class. How long we finish? One hour? One hour, no yeah. cheat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you move your arm again on the side, see? Up. See, now wow, you can touch so the you ear. What do you think? That's good, very good. <laughs> All right, so you get the door at home, take yourself, see what happens. All right, sir, how are you doing? Well, thank you. Um, right shoulder dislocated. Dislocates. The so. arm is back in place, but the muscles are still loose. All right, so there's an injury. So injury, we need the subclavian artery to supply the blood down. So stomach. 12, stomach, 11, ouch, point, down. So the people come into our class. The sadness, the range is very, very wild. You name it, we do it. Include the children. What do you feel? The muscles are moving. The muscles move. So you can feel it. I want to do with the guys in the back wall. Well, yes. How do you feel now? Well, I feel all the energy here. All the energy moving. So you in the class already. So we just let the chi run. All right, sir. Are you new here? Yes. So, your first time? Uh, second time. Second time. So, where you go usually? Tinnitus. Ringing in the ear. Ringing in the ear. All right. What else? That's, that's basically it. Uh, chronic cough. Unexplained chronic cough. Chronic cough. How long the chronic cough you have? Uh, four mm -hmm. months. Yeah. Four months. Any virus on the... the so, you don't know? Uh, so no explanation. No explanation on the cough, if many reasons can cause it, because even though the nerve can cause it. So we go to open the neck area first, then C1234. You ready? Where do you go to the class? Swanskin. Ah. Adele is on Swanskin. Yes, so you go to one time. Yes. So? So we open the facial artery up. What do you feel now? Warm. Warm on the face. This part the chi is coming, the energy. So we call the CNA in the ear. Planet nerve number A. That is for the ear, for the hearing. So what do you feel now? I don't feel anything, but, it, but it, I'm, I'm listening for the hip, for the ringing to subside. The ringing is subsiding. More or less? Yeah. Better. All right. So we hit it at CNA again. Any sinus problem? No sinus problem. Because the sinus problem can cause a problem. So we open the sinus on that right side. How is the ear now? Bang. Bang. Can you hear we bending? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> they hear already good. <laughs> I hear just fine. I hear ringing. All right. Good enough. 
All right, sir. How are you doing? Hi. I'm fine. I have um, HIV for 20 years. HIV? Mm -hmm. Are you in our class before? Um, I went to Swamskot also. Is that oh, Swamskot also, because we have another few people on HIV is very success. And the medical report from the doctor, all the T cell, the CD4 keep jumping up. So in Tanzania and in Ghana, 10 years, they already used the tongling for healing the HIV. They really success. So as you in Swamskit also. How long you in the class in Swamskit? Wait on me twice. Twice. OK, so we same thing, auto meals. You ready? So we want you to get in the report from your doctor. The CD4 blood test or the T cell test, the liver test, whatever. Then compare. So this is a science. Science, you need to compare, you need to prove. Not just say what we say. What we say, don't believe it. When the doctor do the exam, trust, believe your doctor's exam. One, two, three, four, seven. How is your liver function? Good, all right. So we open the endocrine system, GV22BL6. Cholesterol high, open the vagus nerve. T1011, lower down the cholesterol. Many people in our class, the cholesterol back to normal. How you feel now? Very warm. Warm, feel relaxed also. Yeah. How you feel right now? Yeah, pretty good. Still feel good. You feel good in the stomach? Yeah, you. Yes. Say everybody is a musician yeah, here. All, all that we call the collective unconscious. It is not from Tam Tam itself. No. That is the collective, the whole group. Because you believe, then you already join our club. <laughs> yes. How are you doing today? Yes. I'm lean. Um, I actually uh, just came for the ride. So you are a driver? I'm a driver. All right. So we're working on you. you in here a few years already. Four years? Or? Yeah. I have very many different problems. and over the, It's been a process, and I've been helped with very many things. Yeah. Um, um, a lot of unexplained stuff. And it, right, medications were just um, side effect problems, and only Tong Ren helped me to get rid of some of the symptoms and diminish uh, some of the other ones. So I've been helped with many things. Uh, um, I've had chronic fatigue syndrome for over 20 years and uh, migraines and other problems and mm -hmm. anxiety and things. No, no. And so I'll take whatever, I, I guess for anxiety mm -hmm. if it helps. Tom, so she's the last one. We want to do the meditation for, uh, for, to finish. Yeah. Okay, so we open the chronic fatigue. C123, T123. We have many people have a chronic fatigue syndrome in our class. And we do a good job and most of them release. L123 and down. Kidney one, liver three. Uh, our Tong Lane, Hill Lane, the guinea pig class already international. In China, 
in Asia, in Europe, Africa, and mainly in South America, they already have our brains. How you feel now? Warm and relaxed. So you already long time in the class. Yes. So that's a good job. Uh, usually in the class, so we go to healing everybody. So even though you are here, you are not here, you can send our chi to your family or someone. So like pray, but we are not to pray. We just say to charge the battery. So usually on the last few minutes, we do the charge of the battery. All right, so you just relax. Okay, and on the relaxation position. So go to receive the chi. You can open your hand to receive your chi, the energy. <laughs> 